Cause Lord, you reign forever. You reign forever. You reign forever. And I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Let's sing to him. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. If you know that he is, let's sing it to him. You are the only, you are the only living God. Lord, you reign and you're the only living God. You are the only living God. So we worship, we worship you. We adore you. We love you. We praise you. We love you. Adore you. We honor you. Because you are the only, you are the only living God. All other gods are false. You are the only living God. Let heaven hear it. Let hell tremble at it. You are the only living God. There is none like you, oh God. Only living God. You are the only living God. Let's shout it for the last time. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. Hallelujah. No, it's Job who said, was speaking about his convictions about God. He said, even though he slays me, yet will I praise him. I don't know what it is that God could ever do to offend you. But I find no fault in him. Can't find any fault at all in God. No fault in him. When the Bible says praise him for his goodness. is because he's a good God. Praise him because his mercies endures forever. It's because it's true that his mercies endures forever. God is not a man that he would lie. He's not the son of man that he would repent. As he said it, will he not do it? As he promised it, will he not bring it to pass? Can we honor the Lord and let's clap to him you can today hallelujah he's worthy to be praised amen you may be seated tonight god bless you good to have you here this evening do the things that are needful and uh We're here tonight to be instructed in God's word so that we can have sufficient um, tools that will enable us to pray effectively. There's a principle that governs prayer. It is that the word of God should lead us to prayer. And not necessarily prayer leading us to the word. <laughs> It's the word that leads you to prayer. If, it, if you can't pray it out of his word, there's no assurance that you can get it. Amen. So I'm going to be taking a little while to instruct you from God's word. And I pray that it would align our lives significantly. In the last couple of weeks, a consciousness that um, has been in my mind is the waging war between the spiritual and the natural. It's just been there. And I pray that I'll be able to bring some illumination to these truths because if you live like all that happens here, 
is bound to natural configurations, natural arrangements. There is much more to it than you can ever imagine. For example, Boko Haram is not natural. Because there's a spirit of Islam and is the spirit of the bondwoman. The root of it is found in the book of Genesis, the product of Abraham's mistake. Not so much his mistake, because if Sarah had not offered Hagar to the father of faith, and we will look at that when we come to recalibrating marriage. Look at him, my sister in law is in the house today. It's good to. Pastor Bolaji Adesui. Praise the Lord. You, you know, I, I, even I don't like being introduced when I go to places because I don't know whether to stand and take a bow or to just wave or say praise the Lord. You know, sometimes I just sit down there and, well, those who see me can see me and those who can't. So uh, we find... An interesting battle between good and evil right from the days of the beginnings, as it were, right from the Garden of Eden. Here was what God had created that was good. But here is the devil that is everything evil. And you find the first battle, and in a pair of sieve, man and God lost. But then God would provide redemption that would eventually occur 4,000 years later on the cross of Calvary. And you might not know what was happening if you had been by the, um, at Golgotha just watching a man naked upon the cross with two naked men. You would think he was being punished. Those who looked at him, according to Isaiah said, God was punished. Punishing him for his evil doing. But that death was a battle in the spirit realm. Against the forces of darkness and the forces of good. And it looked for a moment as if the forces of darkness had won. Because when he gave up the ghost. There was darkness upon the face of the earth. At three o'clock in the afternoon like never before. There was all kinds of turbulences upon the face of the earth. The earth was moving and someone must have thought, wow, this is darkness prevailing. But three days later, the victory upon the cross became known to all men when he rose again from the grave. And I pray that we'll understand that we're not called to, as much as there are natural things that you need to face, we need to know exactly where the battle is so that we can deal with issues as they are. One of the scriptures that we often quote says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, we wrestle against powers. We wrestle against rulers of the darkness of this world. We wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. Let me take an example of addiction. Substance abuse. What is behind it? Doctors will tell you there's a chemo, what's, what's the word? There's a, there's a medical or a chemistry about addiction. Because every time that you do something you enjoy, dopamine is released in great measure in your brain. And that's what creates pleasure. But how come? You find that lots of people who are addicted to things as much as they hate it would tell you, I want to stop it, but they can't stop it. Because addiction may start off naturally, 
But the demon then attaches itself to it. Spirits attach itself to it to make sure that even though on the inside of you, you want to get out of it, you still find yourself being pulled to it. That's the thing with homosexuality too. The first time you are hooked, you find out that people who even, it's not just homosexuality, but sexual abuse as well. That once someone is molested in childhood, it would take the grace of God and the mercy of God and prayer for that person to live a normal life, and God can do that. But if the grace of God is not brought to bear, what happens? It just affects that person's life, and the person becomes dysfunctional. Are you with me? So let's go today to Ezekiel chapter 28, because we, we looked, I, I don't want to take us back to to many of the things that we, we, we were looking at. And I, I was looking at Tyre as a city, metaphorically. I was looking at it as a natural city because God spoke about it naturally. And we know that Tyre and Sidon were sister cities that were at coastal regions. We read in the book of Isaiah that Tyre is the marketplace of the nations. And so these were entry points that were very significant to commerce. They were very significant to business. They were very significant to government and politics and all the different fairs of expressions of humanity. Now, they are metaphors. And how many of you understand that metaphors, there are several metaphors in scripture. For example, when you think about the Holy Spirit as a dove, it's a metaphor. He's not a pigeon. He cannot be a pigeon. He would not be a pigeon. But he descended upon Jesus like a dove. He wasn't a pigeon coming on him. It's the way a pigeon, something was fluttering over him because pigeons, when they are landing on a, they, they kind of have a fluttering mechanism. That's why it says, as a dove. Now, there are places where pastors carry pigeons to church. And they put on your head and they say they're anointing you with the Holy Spirit. That's how demon spirits enter into people. The Holy Spirit is not a pigeon. The Holy Spirit is not oil. Can never be, never be. Oil has been a medium through which he found expression, but he is not the oil. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are things that have been abolished in the Old Testament that we have no business with in the New Testament. If not, if you remember what I preached on Sunday, if the spirit of jealousy comes upon a husband... Wife must drink concussion. So Tyre is a metaphor. It represents the marketplace. And if you were ever privileged in that time, and I never was, but there's historical documentation, Tyre could be likened to a city like Abuja or Lagos. Probably more Lagos because you've got a seaport you've got if you've ever been to lagos and you see the number of ships that are waiting in the atlantic to birth we're not talking about the ones that are discharging of cargo but they are waiting and attached to all kinds of boys in the sea you know that are waiting to birth you'll be amazed at how much comes into a nation so there is what you call lagos life lagos life is a product of the sea it's the nature of the city there's lagos is very cosmopolitan it's the nature of the location the seaport from time immemorial has been a doorway that has brought all kinds of nations to the doorstep of lagos 
So that's what Tyre was, what you call marketplace. And the marketplace, remember what I said, is the final frontier of God's agenda for the earth. What I mean by the final frontier is it's the final stage. God wants to take over the marketplace. That's why your ministry is not in the church, but it is to the world. When Jesus spoke to them at the end, if you read the end of Matthew 28 and verse 19 thereabout, if you read Mark 16, it said, go ye into all the world. It said, get out of here. Remember that the church was limited to Jerusalem. But even though Jesus said, go ye into all the world for many years, the church would not leave Jerusalem and it continued to be a Jewish cult because the Jews felt that they were the custodians of this new truth until persecution came. The essence of persecution in the early church was to scatter them abroad. And that's how the church got into Asia and got into other parts of the world. And I'm sure you know that the, the one who took the gospel to Africa for the first time was the Ethiopian eunuch. That's how the gospel got to Africa. All right. Do you understand me? So, Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre. And I said it last week, the prince of Tyre is a physical ruler, is an earthly ruler. The prince of Tyre. Thus says the Lord God, because your heart is lifted up, and you say, I am a God. I sit in the seat of gods, in the midst of the seas. Yet, this is your identity, you are a man. So we know this is a man. I'm not a God, though you set your heart as the heart of a God. I need you to know you're a man. You're wiser than Daniel. There's no secret that can be hidden from you. With your wisdom and your understanding, you've gained riches for yourself. Gather gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom in trade, you have increased your riches. Your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have set your heart as the heart of a God, uh, behold, I'll bring strangers against you, the most terrible of the nations. They will draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom. He's talking to the president of a nation. Nigeria has a precedent as well. The question about Nigeria is who is truly ruling? Because who a leader submits to is who rules the nation. Hello? And that's why saints need to pray. You know, sometimes when we read the scriptures and we say, pray for your leader. What if the man is an Ogoni man? So what will we pray? That he gets saved? I mean, yes, because God wants all men to be saved. But will he be saved? Hardly do you find people who enter such seats by demonic power get saved in the seat. They may get saved later. Hello. We once had a president who said, I'm saved from my waist to the top. From my waist downwards, he's not born again. That salvation <laughs> is not true salvation because he must be the total man. <laughs> and you know who that was? Who? Because if you say it, you are the one. <laughs> All right, let's go down to about verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyros. And oh, this, this is the, the twist. And this is where we ended. There's a physical prince. And there's a spiritual king. Now, 
who rules? What did God say to the prince of Tyros? You have set your heart as the heart of God. If you get to Isaiah chapter 14 and you begin to see the fall of Lucifer, what was it all about? Lucifer said, I will ascend to the throne of God. I will set myself above the throne of God. And God said, today you're finished. So you can see who is ruling. This man might have been a good man. But because he's plugged into wrong spirits, the same nature of the devil will eventually fill his heart. Are you with me? Thus says the Lord God, you are the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You are in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topax, diamond, and sapphire, turquoise, and all the workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You are the anointed cherubim who covers. I establish you you are on the holy mountain of God. You walk back and forth in the midst of five fairy stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created until iniquity was found in you. Are you with me? Can I show you another scripture? Because I'm... Let's turn to Daniel chapter 10. I need the Bible... Um, Give me something so I can I can be quick with this. This iPad is not good for multitasking. Particularly when you're ministering the word of God. I'll tell you that it's not. All right. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter. Let's run through that quickly. Verse 1. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, you're going to see a change of words here. A message was revealed to Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. Now, here in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, the king of Persia is a natural man. This message was true, but the appointed time was long, and he understood the message and an understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks, fasting. I ate no pleasant food, no meat, no wine came into my mouth. I didn't anoint myself till three whole weeks were fulfilled. On the 24th day of the first month, as I was at the side of the great river, the Tigris, I lifted my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose waist was girded with gold of Ufas. His body was like burial. Now verse 7. Now Daniel alone saw the vision. The men who were with me did not see the vision, but great terror fell upon them. Verse 10. Suddenly a hand touched me that made me tremble on my knees, and he said to me, O Daniel, man greatly loved, behold the words that I speak to you. Stand upright, for I have been sent to you. While he was speaking this word to me, I stood trembling. And he said, do not fear. From the first day you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. I've come because of your words. Now verse 13, the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. Now, this, this, this is a change in title somehow. But who is standing before Daniel talking to him? An angel. Now, when he says, the prince of Persia withstood me, that's not a human being. Go and ask Jacob. If you think you can withstand an angel. The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael. So this is Gabriel speaking. Michael, one of the chief princes, came to 
help me for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Now, something is going on. First, he says, the prince withstood me. Now, he reveals greater dimension. See, <laughs> kings of Persia. The reason I needed to read this is because our success in prayer is not a part of angelic assistance. That's, that's what I need you to know. It, it's not a part of, did Daniel know that while he was praying, there was a struggle in the spirit. The answer was to be released, but there was a struggle between the angels of heaven and the demons of hell that was holding back the flow. He said, from the day that you opened your mouth to pray, your prayers were heard. But even though your prayers were heard, there was resistance in the spirit. So he didn't know this. That Gabriel was contending with demonic princes and Michael will have to come to come and help him wage that war. All he's doing is shakalaba, hakalaba, shatara. He doesn't know what's going on up there. But he's just praying. He just must play his part. He just must do what he needs to do. Now look at verse 14. I've come to make you understand what would happen to your people in the latter days. The vision refers to many days yet to come. And when he had spoken such words to me, I turned my face toward the ground and I became speechless. I just want to jump, you know, significantly. Um, let's look at verse 19. And he said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. And when he spoke to me, I was strengthened. The word of God will strengthen you. You don't need an angel to come to you for you to be strengthened. Once you hear the word of God, you will be strengthened. Let my Lord speak for you have strengthened me. Then he said, do you know why I have come to you? Question. And he had understanding. He then says to him, and now I must return to fight with who? The prince of Persia. And when, and when I have gone forth, what will happen? The prince of Grisha will come. So in other words, after succeeding against the prince of Persia, then the prince of Grisha will come. In the natural, do you know what happened? Changing government. That's what happens. Because the, the Persian kingdom was taken over by the Grecian kingdom. And the Grecian kingdom came with his own demonic princes. Change in government. Why are you quiet suddenly? So if you want to change government, it's not just pray, but it's pray right. Because we have been praying. Let's pray with accuracy. Pray understanding the subject matter. Talk to me, someone. I've been able to establish something that we do not pray. Listen, I can't bind a demon. How? I go and physically catch a demon and tie him in ropes. But when I bind demons, they are bound. When I cast them out, they are cast out. 
What I do not see is that heaven reinforces the words I speak. Angels minister on our behalf, not only to bring us into God's inheritance, but to enable us fight the battles, our spiritual battles, accurately. The Bible says that angels in the book of Hebrews says that they are ministering spirits that have been sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. And that's a compound expression because the word salvation in the context of that scripture is sozo. Sozo is not being born again alone. Sozo means deliverance from temporal and eternal Fear, death, it's an all-encompassing word. Many times when you should have died in accidents and you were spared, it was because angels were there that you did not see. Many times when disaster was coming and you, you couldn't explain how you escaped, angels pushed aside the, 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 the demons of death. And preserved your life. You didn't know. You didn't see. But they are there. Let's read that scripture in Hebrews. Because some of you. I find I assume a lot. Assume people know. Okay. To which of the angels as he said. At any time sit at my right hand. Until I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not all what? Not some who. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth, sent forth from where? From heaven to minister to. Or to minister, not to minister, it didn't even say to minister to, it says to minister for, on our behalf, for those who will inherit salvation. Those are the saints. They sent forth to minister for. Let's see what the message translation says. I just like emphasis. I like modern expression. Did he ever say anything like this to any angel sit alongside me here on my throne until I make your enemies a, foot, a stool for your feet? Isn't it obvious? We should know this. That all angels are sent to help out with those who are lined up to receive salvation. So there are angels on assignment for us. It's good to know whether you know or not. Look, the things that happen around you every day if you saw it in the realm of the speech, you may not be normal again. Sometimes Satan has decided at night that when you wake up that morning, it's going to be disaster galore. And you don't know, you are sleeping. You probably did not even pray before you went to bed. You getting what I'm saying? You wake up in the morning with a big yawn. But ministering spirits are on your left and on your right, making sure that the plan of the devil does not come to pass. And you're not, you don't even know how you almost died, but you didn't know. You just went back to bed at night and say, wow, what a long day. And you didn't know how many times God delivered you from trouble. You didn't know. And when you even go to bed, you don't say thank you for the day. That's why we should be thankful. Constantly thankful. You get into your car, you drive 
12 hours, you arrive. Say, how was the journey? Say, it was smooth. <laughs> Who made it smooth? Say to yourself, I can drive. <laughs> uh, look, if God withdraws his mercy from us for one hour, it's not, not even a day, one hour, you will be shocked at what will happen. You'll be shocked. We just take too many things for granted. Let me jump a bit. Because there are certain things. Isaiah chapter 23. Let's look at verse 17. And then maybe we'll look at First Kings. Let's see some things in there. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 17. I'm going to show you God's promise. Isaiah 23. It shall be at the end of 70 years that the Lord will deal with Tyre. It happened naturally. But remember that this is also a metaphor. Because, Lord... There's a woman in the Bible called Jezebel. Right? She died, didn't she? But when you get to the book of Revelation, you will find Jezebel teaching in the church. And God said, because you didn't stand against the Jezebel who is in your midst and is teaching. Now, so we Jezebel. Jezebel moved from being a woman to a spirit. Now, this, and I'll tell you what the Je spirit of Jezebel is. What did Jezebel do to Ahab? Controlled her husband. Manipulators does not submit to authority. So if you find a woman who does not submit to authority, and she wants to control her husband, she may think, well, you see, I want to express myself. I want to have my say. No, it's a spirit of Jezebel that is manifesting through her. Ah. Yeah. It's a spirit of Jezebel. When Ahab wanted the vineyard of Naboth. Mm -hmm. And he went to meet Naboth and said, can I have your vineyard? He said, this is the inheritance of my father. I can't give the inheritance of my father to you. Went back to his palace and Jezebel came back. Why are you sad? Said, I went to Naboth to take his vineyard. He said, he won't give me. She said, eh, is that why you're sad? Clean your face, eat food. I will settle the matter. Look, just get sons of Belial to, 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 to cast accusations at him that he blasphemed God. They will kill him and you get the, 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 the see, she controlled. Let's leave that. The Jezebelic spirit. Sunday we'll look at some things but it's not for today it shall be at the end of 70 years that the Lord will deal with Tyre she will return to her hire and commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world on the face of the earth how does a nation commit fornication Is every, you, everybody just comes into you you become a mixed culture you you just accept everything. Dumping ground. Her gain and her pay will be set apart for the Lord. It will not be treasured nor laid up for her gain. It will not be treasured nor laid up for her gain will be for those who dwell before the Lord to eat sufficiently and to 
and for fine clothing. Now, who are those who dwell before the Lord? They are the righteous. It means that the prophet of Tyre is for the righteous. It's for the church. No, I don't think you get it. God has called us to take over. But it doesn't take over with words of mouth. You take over engaging the system both naturally and spiritually engaging things in prayer. Let's look at 1 Kings chapter 17. We want to look at the interplay events that are taking place in the Bible many times that are veiled from our understanding. Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, As long as the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall be no dew nor rain these years except at my word. This is why you need to read scripture with balance. You would think, Elijah just got up one day and said, at my word, there will be no rain, no dew in the land. Until you go to the book of James and you read that Elijah was a man of like passions. He prayed earnestly that there should be no rain. So the man went and prayed first, bound the rain, and to say he bound the rain is wrong. I will show you. Okay, he bound the rain. Then he came out and said, as long as the Lord lives, there will be no rain here except by my word. He had already tied things down. When we make decrees and we've not done what we should do before, nothing happens. Talk to me, someone. That's James chapter 5. A man of like passions. It means, look, flesh and blood. But he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. It did not rain in the land for three and a half years. Second verse. I said second verse or next verse. Verse 18 of James chapter 5. And then he did what? He prayed again. So he prayed the first time, said there will be no rain. He prayed again and what happened? The heaven gave rain upon the earth. Now let me show you something in here. The word of the Lord came to him saying, get away, verse 2. The word of the Lord came to him saying, get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith which flows into Jordan and it will be that you would drink from the brook because I've commanded the ravens to feed you there. Now the reason why I'm taking time to look at Elijah is because <laughs> We need to understand that it takes the supernatural dimension interfacing with the natural for us to break through. So he bound the rain and he has to be sustained supernaturally. The brook, you may say, is natural. But the ravens that are bringing food, look, that's supernatural. There may be natural birds but ravens don't drop food for anything. They're the most selfish birds that you can ever find on planet Earth. Their own young will be hungry while they're eating. Nigeria is full of a ravenous generation of leaders. That same metaphor. But let me um, highlight a couple of things here. In verse 8, the word of the Lord came to him saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to who? Sidon. So here again we see that metaphor, either in Tyre 
or in Sidon. I want you to go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, and that's important, a woman was there gathering sticks, and he called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. So she said, As the Lord your God leaves, I don't have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin, and a little oil in a jar. And see, I'm gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare for myself. And my son that will be eaten die. And Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Do as you have said. Make me a small cake first. Bring it to me. Afterward, make some for your son. And thus said the Lord of, of, of Israel, the bean of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day that the Lord sends rain on the earth. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and her household did eat for many days. Number one, what's the meaning of Zarephath? Zarephath is a refining place. It's a, it's a, it's a smelting place pot so is a place of refinement after cherith god sends elijah to a place of refining now let me say something here and i want to just be able to put it accurately when elijah bound the ring what do you think he was doing I give you the answer. He was taking over the economic landscape of that country. Write it down. Because later things will get so tough in the land that even the king will be looking for Elijah. But let me say this to you. The root of what's her name again? Jezebel and her husband. If you go back in scripture, you will discover that Jezebel's father was Isbeal, the king of Sidon. Okay. Let's, you see, I'm trying not to take too much time to teach. First Kings 16.31. It came to pass as though he had, it had been a trivial thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nabal. That he took as wife Jezebel, the daughter of Isbel, the king of the Sidonians. And he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Who did that? Ahab. Now, let me also say this. Who is Baal? Look, the identity of Baal, you will find in scripture and in Hebrew lexicons. Baal is known as the storm god. He is the god of prosperity and of fertility. Okay? I get in this. Therefore, the entire Sidonians were plugged into the worship of Baal, the god of money, prosperity, an increase. When Elijah prayed, it was his first confrontation with the barely gods. Look, the problem for Ahab and Jezebel was that how can there be famine when we are worshipping Baal, the god of prosperity? Something must be wrong. And later they realized it was Elijah. This is not normal. 
We're killing, we're slaughtering, we're doing all kinds of things. Something is going on. They didn't know that Elijah had, he had bound Baal. Baal could no longer manifest. This is power past power. Let me show you something else. Elijah will confront the prophets of Baal. What did he tell them? Call on your God to answer by fire. Why would he say that? He has tied them down. <laughs> Go call your God. He can answer by fire. He's already God of thunder, God of the storms. He's actually called he that rides in the clouds. Rain fall, fertility, and all of that was hinged on him. Said, let him answer by fire. The, the gods had been tied. What did they do? They started cutting themselves and doing all kinds of things. There was no fire. He now said, I will show you that I control the atmosphere right now. Fire came, not only licked the sacrifice, but all the prophets as well. Just simply saying, I'm in control. Why did God send him to Zarephath? I want you to go to the headquarters of Baalic worship and spend time there dismantling anything dismantlable because of the confrontation with the prophet later. So, oh, you now know why we're in Abuja? You know, the, the first, you know, I, I think, <laughs> no, it's, it's good to hear that kind of laughter. It's deep. I thought back some time back, and I thought about the first series I taught in this city. Who can remember it? I remind you. The mystery of iniquity. That's an unusual someone to preach as a new entrant into the city. You preach messages that will attract people. Breakthrough. People will come to church and it's like, I can't. The mystery of iniquity. Bendedness on the inside. A bended arrow, no matter how good the archer is, if you aim it at the target, it will go in, in a tangent because it is bent. If you are bent on the inside, you can't achieve God's best. It's odd. I know how people come into cities. So can we pray now? I was talking to a couple yesterday. And they were talking about the need to teach on marriage and the significance of it. And I said, because they've been a part of the house too, and I said, did I tell you some of the battles mentally I, I've gone through teaching on recalibrating marriage you don't want to hear because Satan will fight you but can't win it's too late to back down we probably will do 16 teachings because the captives must be let loose and there must be liberty everywhere can't be afraid because somebody threatens you and says you will see. 
see what? There are different schools of thought. Somebody says, when they confront you and say, you will see. Answer back them back and say, you too will see. That's fine. But even if I don't answer back, it makes no difference. You will later find out who will see. And you will remember what you said when you said, I will see because you will see me seeing the goodness of God in my life. See, that's the scripture. A thousand will fall on this side. Ten thousand will fall on this side. With your eyes, you will behold and you will see the reward of the wicked. Not because you curse them, but because they set themselves against you. I preach sometimes here. And my head is pounding when I go back home. It's unusual. Lie down and sleep and prepare part four, recalibrating marriage. <laughs> there are two things the devil will fight families, the church. Two things, because they're the foundation of any nation. Can we pray? Prayer point number one. Ah. Let me give you this because I may not come back to it. Mark chapter 7 in verse 24. Jesus came to a city of Syrophoenicia. And he met a woman whose daughter was grievously vexed with the devil. Do you know where he was? He was in Sidon. And here's a woman who's heathen, who is under the influence of the princes in that land. She comes to him. My daughter is grievously vexed, vexed with the devil. What did Jesus say? He said, it is not, you are asking me to do something that is wrong. Children's bread should not be given to dogs. If you tie it up with Isaiah chapter 23, what I have brought. Now, this is Sidon. The wealth of Sidon, the wealth of Tyre is for the sons. That's what he was saying. It's not for you, even though you're here. Look, it's for the sons. It's not right to take children's bread and give it. But then she said, even the dogs. Oh, yeah, well, so you, let's give you some crumbs. What did she ask for? Bread. Ah, no, she didn't ask for it. It was bread. But she got what? Crumbs. Who is the bread for? What is the difference between bread? What did she get? Healing. What is bread? Health. Health, healing is, bam, you are healed. Divine health. Is what made the scripture say about Moses and Joshua that his strength did not abate. At 120 years old, the man was still strong. See, that's health. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper. Do you know, I, I, was, I was meditating on scripture today and I, I suddenly realized that I set a limit of my lifetime on earth to 80 years. You know, every time I'm thinking, how long am I going to live on earth? I just say 80. I pushed it to 100 today. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not. I'm, it had just been ingrained. Why can't I live till I'm 100? I can still push it forward. I was doing a study. I was, I was just trying, and I was sharing with my sister-in-law, my wife. <laughs> when, when Abraham... What was it I said? Um, I'm trying to remember. 
Noah died when Abraham was 58 years old. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob saw each other. Go and find out. Abraham was 58 when Noah died. Jacob was 15 when Abraham died. You see how the lifespan of, of men on earth kept coming down to hit about 120. Let's pray. I want us to pray tonight hinge upon the you know A prophecy or is he a song was taken concerning Jesus, psalmist. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, O ye everlasting doors. Who is it that is coming? Because why would gates be lifted up? The king of glory. So, who is the king of glory? Thank you. The Lord God, strong and mighty in battle is he. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, but they would launch an attack. If you're driving into the city, there's a city gate. As it is in the natural, it is in, so it is in the spiritual. I've shared this before and I don't want to talk about it. You can be in a city and you look, there are 120 million Nigerians who live on less than a dollar a day. Is Nigeria not a blessed land? We are rich in oil. We are probably a thousand times richer in gas. We're rich in human resources and all kinds of things. But people live above poverty line. But if you hold the city gates, gates naturally are containment structures that limit your entry into God's even when God has said this is your place, gates naturally or spiritually can place an embargo upon you entering. So we need to pray today and pull down every gate set against you. Every structure that the enemy might have put in place to cage you in because the will of the devil is to keep you caged in. Look, as long as Israel was in Egypt, Satan had no problem. Contain them. But the minute Moses said, let my people go, ah, Satan knew there's trouble here. I will make sure that I stop them. But the battle was lost every time and the children of Israel became victorious. Tonight I want you to pray. Every containment structure, whatever it is that the enemy has put to limit the gift, the grace of God on the inside of you, whether they are human beings or they are spirit beings or they are whatever beings or whatever it may be, tonight will bring down every gate, every structure of containment, every thing that is set to limit you fulfilling destiny. 
Paul was writing to the Thessalonian church. He said, I longed, I desired that I will come to you. He said, Satan hindered us. It shows you that the enemy is not sitting watching. He will do everything, but you are more than a conqueror. And as we pray today, we release ministering spirits in cooperation, in ensuring, in enhancing the effectiveness of our prayer. You know God has given you an assignment. You know he has given you a mandate. But you find hindrances. You find structures keeping you down. Pray against every gate. Pull down every gate. Chanda yanga la brige brige doska yekele brige brige do shaka ya kala brige de yekele brige brige do shaka ya kala brige da yekele brige brige de ke shige de ke yenge la brige de li brige baga shada ya kala brige brige de ke le brige de ke shikala brasada ya na dada jedo zanaya jedo zanaya jedo zanaya jedo zanaya Jedo Zanaya, Jedo Zanaya, Manda Landon Dondose, Nengeli Bragados, Calabacasi Ketegea. Le bakashanda yanga la brada, li bragada shanda yanga la bragada. He might have given you the world of the media. He might have given you the world of business. He might have given you the world of politics. Wherever it is, family, you need in the name of Jesus to pull down every gate. Le bakashanda yanga la brigadoska. Lift your head, O ye gates. Le bakashanda yanga everlasting doors doors that have been set from one generation to another generation there are families that seem to experience everlasting doors chain, chain, chain in one generation to another limiting one generation to another oh ye everlasting doors in the name of Jesus we pull you down makalabagado le bagrando se kele brige bege dus la bagada le bege bege shi kele brige bege dosa le baka shanda yanga la brige bege dosa reno shanda yanga la brige bege dosa libra da sataka libra sendo stande geluska brale sokolo brige shi gede gele brige de gele brige de La makashanda yanga la brige bege do le braga shadaya kala brige bege dos le kala braga shadaya every gate limiting your entrance into your field of endeavor into your place of assignment into the fullness of it le baka shadaya in the name of Jesus ya baka lusa tabajo nenge lusa kabra deke deshe Duka liga lito baga sege yega la bregedo shakaya basa liga la basa ne yenge le bregedo sha yeke le bregedo sha you keep trying you keep pushing but your efforts don't bring forth good reward makaya kalabashadaya bring down those gates manga yanga laboro shekele bregedo 
ye gala brage no shayanga la bagazida le brage shanda yanga la brage bege dus kala bagade ye gala brage bege do shakaya kala brage bege de ye kala brage bege do shakaya kala brage bege de ye kala brage bege do shakaya kala brage bege do ye kala brage bege do sometimes you see your breakthrough you're just about to lay hold on it and it suddenly fizzles out in front of you le bakashadaya in the name of jesus le bakashalina dola sikanambrandege juda kalia golos le mamomomo shindiando noga deke luka liga la bajada galiga jeboko sekeya nengele boshadaya le bakashadaya le bakashadaya le bakashike le bogosikete le prakashande le bakashike le prakebekede le bakashanda la bagale li kapaga shanda gala bagada li bage shonda ya nangala bage bage shata le bage bage do shakaya le bage bage sikle le bage bage do you've got the dreams you've got the vision you've got clarity le bakashada ya kala bakashata but there are limitations bakashadaya the resources lebakashadaya to fulfill it maya kalabakashada we bind the kings in the spirit lebakashanda yangala brigabegedo lebakashadaya hindering the flow libarabo sonderi bubububu zid dididu janangala bagosigli bragadoska jemakaya nananananono sanga Lita, liba kasanga 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 liba shande. Ye kile brige brige shige le brige brige do shige le brige brige le brige de. Le baka shaya nange le brige brige do, le brige brige shige de ge yange le brige brige de. Ye kile brige brige shaka ya kala kasata, le na 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 shanda. Le bago shige ningri e du kusona gala shadaya gala shonde kile brige do shaka ya. I kile brige brige le brige brige do shkala brige brige de. Ye kile brige baga shada. I break down every wall. Le baka shadaya. I pull down every gate. In the name of Jesus. Ya na na no shkala brige brige do shkala brige de. Every structure set around me. Le baka shadaya. To limit me, yenga la braga baga shada, le braga baga dosha. Every contrary imagination, every high thing, le baka shanda la baga sig, le braga baga baga le braga de. Le baka shada kaya kala braga baga do, le braga baga dosha. Every king from hell, every prince, le baka shada ya. To hinder me, ye mama mama sadaya. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I render you powerless in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. Mara bakashanda lebogo sikle brke brke dege le brke de. Nangiri bos, nangiri bos, nangiri bos, nangiri bos. Sakaya bashanda, lebrge bge do, sakaya kala brge bge do, yeke lebrge bge do, sakaya kala brge bge do. I lose the flow of heaven, lebaka shadaya kala brge bge do sa. I lose the resources of heaven. Maya kala brge bge do, sakaya kala brge bge de. We are men have come together to say there is no way for him. Le baka shada ya kala brge bge do ska. We set confusion in their camp. Le baka shada ya kala brge do. We send confusion in their camp. Ninge le brge bge do, sakala brge bge do, sakaya badana. Le baka shanda yenge le brge bge do. Le brada da da no shonda. Yenge le brge bge do. 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 Yeka no sapatanda leno. Jemanga yenge le brge bge do. 
Yendela perka pegu dos kami shananda do. Yendela perka pegu dos. Yigana perka pegu dos. Yekele perka pegu shikananga lato. Lebra kapaka shadaya. The work of our hands will prosper. Lebra kashadaya. That which we've laid our hands to do will blossom. Yekala baga shanda gele perka pegu dos. Yekele perka pegu dos. Shakaya kala perka pegu de gele perka de. Our lives will not be wasted. We will not be part of a wasted generation. In the name of Jesus, I come against you, Satan. In the name of Jesus, I pulled down a cause to be destroyed every gate Yamashanda Gelebosa every wall Leba Kashanda Yangala Baga Sakataya Leba Koshika Lebregadosa Even though the walls of Jericho were straightly shut up Leba Kashada the walls came tumbling down ye kalabaga shada ya kalabaga de pull down the walls ye ngala bragabaga dosa bind the spirit of containment libra gashanda ye ngala bragabaga dosa seeking to contain destiny seeking to contain life ye kalabragabaga dosa ye galabus kalabaga shanda le bragabaga de Every force from hell sent to bring discouragement to your life. Maya kalabaka shadaya, lebaka shanda lebogo sikelebe, ningala baga shadaya, lebaka shanda yanga labaga sakata, librandosa, jenge skunda, yanga lambrande, jenge lebo sandi, galibo dukani kaluta, deskondo fashata, ginge luskambrande, donjande kelo, nangando saka, jimban. Oskende, Bragaliske ba, Duska nando ka, Yenge luska ba, Zande nendo jo, Jange lingo jo, Bange lenge dos, Jange lijo do, Daka ni anata, Nenge luse ba do, Jenge luse ba ka, Yande keno sona, Jema ka yambando skandenge, Jenge nembo skange limbrandango, Jaya kalabaka sakata, Igalabaka sak. Kata ye gele bogo sikele ye kele bogo sikele jama kayana bakatuna denge luse brada geleta brege luse badana geleta brege luse bagadana geleta braga lige sona mashanda ya jige leboso dakana bata gege luse dakayana sha bando no sangliga ningle braga daga sike ye gele braga bashanda ye gele braga shanda ye gele braga shanda ye gele Everything set to derail you, Labaka Shadaya, to take you off your course, Labaka Shadaya, to take you off your assignment, Labaka Shada, in the name of Jesus, Yamaka Sandai, a bind you, Yamaka Shandaya, Igeleboko Soto, I pull you down, Inganingananda, Denge Sungrianda Shandonga Laba. Bagada, 
leba kashandi yenge la bagada gashike la baha yenge le burge bege dosha kaya kala burge bege dosha yenge le burge bege dosha yenge le burge bege dosha the wells must spring forth yenge le burge bege dosha kaya kala burge dosha the wells must spring forth yenge le burge bege dosha blocked up by the enemy blocked up by the enemy again and again in the name of Jesus they must spring forth la kalabo shatai hekele burge bege dosha kala burge bege dosha le burge bege dosha Rehoboth must become a reality. Libra gabaga shakataya. The Lord has made room for us. Ye kalabaka shadaya. We take the room. Makalabrigadosha. No matter the giants, we bind the giants, the spiritual giants. Mangalabogosi kalabrigadosh kalabrigadegalabrigade. Le bakasana mbradada le bakasana mbradada le brakabasada kalabashata le brakabagashata kalabrgebegedosa le brakabagashika le brgebegedosa ye kalabrgabashandi la dusha dananga ya kalabrgebegedoska we speak to this land in the name of Jesus. We cause it to open in the name of Jesus. The sons of glory are coming in. Nigeria must open. Abuja must open. The cities God has given you the cities God has given you must open to you. Le bakashanda yanga la burge begedo. Le bakashanda yanga la bagala burgedo. Even if there's famine in the land, the crews of oil will not cease. The bean of wheat will not cease. Ye mama mama sandaya. Ye mama mama mosi dajukai. Bali galoso. Bali galoso. Bali galoso. Bali galoso. Bali galoso. Bali galoso. Janda menga la bogo sakadai di nendosa bali gasona jima mama mandaso menga la boka yenga la bosa taka yanasha liga la bosa kali griendo kene mbrondosa jiba kayano to kasota bakle kriekoso bakle ekrekoso bakle kriekoso yanda kasala bregebegedoska la bregebegedoska Zamayanda nanda dos Liga le brega doska Yeke le brega baga shikataka ya kalabata Na 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 At the name of Jesus Every knee Every authority Must bow And every tongue confess Yeke le brega baga shika le brega baga dosa Yeke le bo shadayana Henge le bo shakala brega dosa Maya na 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 Maya na na no si manja andangelo Geke le brega si ke ni andrando Geke me ngrie ke si 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 ke ni andrando Ke le bo soto Shama ya na jam ingelito Zeke le brega bega si ke te keshe Zeke te ke le bega si ke te keshe Yege se ke te ke si ke te ke la Brada galusta Jama ya ndo Je bagaya galike lo so Le braga sang Yanga yanga la baga shata Hiya no saka la bato Deke lo so mama Nande nge lusha baga daya Geke le bogo sike le brige doska Yama gala baga la bogo dogo sike le braga daja daya Eke lusha Yema shanda Ege liba Nenge lebo Zaka ya kala baga shata Leba ka sike le brige bege doska Yeke le brige bege doska Hingle baga shikala burge baga dosha. Hekala burge baga shikala burge baga de. Le burge baga shikala burge baga de. Le burge baga shikala burge baga de. Yekala burge baga baga shikala paka shakata ya. Le burge baga shakata ke. Le burka pasta. Le burka shaka. Jama ya na 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 donsi ke le branga taka shikala burge baga de. Jabakayana galakato, Jabakayala kanakato, Jabakayakalabaka shakataya, lift 
your hands, O ye gates. Lift up your hands, you everlasting doors. Bayanana, Bayanana, Jemama Mosona, Galiba Kashadaya, Lebra Kashakatana, Engele Braga Sikenosha, Yagana Bregebegedosa, Inge Yana Bagalabrono, Jiba Kayana Nanananosa, Yena Nanananosa, Yena Nanananosa. Sheba galabara no skandeke, jaba kaya kalabrege bege nuske lebrege de, lebrega bagasada. Every stronghold of the devil that is set against you, in the name of Jesus, leba kashada ya, bind it in the name of Jesus. We pull it down in the name of Jesus, leba kashaya balana, ye kalabashada ya, leba kashada ya, leba kashada ya, le galabara. Shadaya, Lepakashanda Ramanaya, Egelebogo Sigula Brada, the Dona Galida, Baligele Brigadona Balida, Baligele Brigadona, Balagashanda Egeleboso, Jekelita Pacana, Jamananga Labrada Digoso, Jebabababagazina Brande, Brande Brandangalaba, Brande Brandangalaba, Brande Brandangalaba, Brande Brangandalaba. Le bragabaga shadakaya, le bragabaga shakatakaya, le bragabaga shikel, le bragabaga le bragabaga yang le bragabaga le bragade. Ye galabraga baga shadaya, le baga labraga baga shadaya, le braga baga shakadaya, le baka shikela braga baga dosha, ye kela braga baga dega shikela broso, jada nanda dosa, 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 takela kusona patakana, takela pukusona patakana, takela pukusona takapana. Takala Pogosona Pakatana Yema Shandalam Brangadosa Leba Kashada Kaya Kalabregadosa Kalabregadosa Hallelujah Shaba Kasana Brade Sheba Kasana Brada Zakale Brodose Kele Jema kaya kala brige brige doska la baka shata le braga shada ya kala brige brige doska le braga da sona njada ka di soto kolo braga shada ya le brada ya kala braga doske je kaya kala brugo sikede destroy your structure Satan le baka shada ya kala bosa shama ya na bosa. Shamayana Bosa Shamayano Sona Calafrica Dosa Seba Cana Grieto Seba Cashadaya Leba Cashadaya We speak to the earth Give forth Leba Cashadaya We speak to our land Give forth in the name of Jesus speak to every territory of influence that God has given to us give up give up your resources Kaya Nabas Kaya Nabasa Shekeleboso Kalabakasi Kelebregedush Samakaya Hallelujah 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 Shamakana Basanda Yaba. Everything that attempts to set a ceiling over you. The name of Jesus. Destroy it in the name of Jesus. 
Shamakaya Basata Lemo Soto Kanabashata Hallelujah. Can we give God thanks tonight? Let's give Him thanks. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Mande Kisto Shebokosola, brother. Bless you, Lord. The victory is all yours, Lord. Shama Yangala Brigadosa. Maya Kasoto no Frike Shooter Kalabahai Oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the ministry of angels. Ministering spirits sent forth, released on our behalf to assist. When Moses was going to go into the promised land, was going to begin his encounters with Pharaoh, there was an angel that God gave to him. By his side. So there was nothing Pharaoh could do to contain the word of God in Moses' mouth. We can't fight these battles alone. We must constantly be conscious of the fact that ministering spirits have been released on our behalf to make our way good. To make, that's what Third John says, to make your journey prosperous. It actually says to give you a safe journey in the course of life and in the course of destiny. It is the assurance that you will arrive at your destination. No matter what the enemy may throw up, no matter what everlasting doors have been set, in the name of Jesus, the victory is yours. Rejoice, somebody tonight, rejoice. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you came today? You know, come next week, Wednesday, we're going to still do some more praying. 